So ChatGPT's advanced voice mode is finally here. And guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you some live demos on my phone of some real world applications that you can actually start using advanced voice mode for. So be sure to stick around for this entire video. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Ryan. I appreciate you being here. And yes, I just got a haircut and I do look bald. I realize just looking at the camera here. So if you want to make fun of me in the comments, feel free to do that. I get it all the time. But my goal here is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment below. And now let's get back into ChatGPT's advanced voice mode. First of all, it's important to note that advanced voice mode is only available to users of ChatGPT+, team users, and I would assume enterprise users fall in this bucket as well. Now, voice mode isn't anything new. This has been around on ChatGPT for a few months at least, but with the addition of advanced voice mode, this includes the following, custom instructions. So you can now add custom instructions to your outputs of ChatGPT. If you want it to sound a certain way, avoid certain words, say certain words, you can definitely do that. It now has memory. It has five new voices, and it also has improved accents. It can also say, sorry, I'm late in over 50 languages. Now, I don't know how important that specific detail is, but I'm going to be diving into the languages aspect here in a little bit when I go through the live demo. It's very important when it comes to language translation. Now, I would suggest reading this entire tweet, and I'll leave a link to this in the video description below. Uh, OpenAI just goes over some more details. They have some live video demos here. Uh, but regardless, let's now dive into what this advanced voice mode actually looks like. So when it comes to accessing advanced voice mode, if you are a ChatGPT Plus user and have the ChatGPT app installed on your iPhone or Android device, what I did is I simply opened it, but I did not have advanced voice mode. So what I had to do is I had to uninstall the ChatGPT app, reinstall install it from the Apple App Store, and then I got a screen that looks like this, where it says, say hello to advanced voice mode, click choose a voice, and then you're ready to go. So now let's actually dive in here and see what this looks like. So first, I'm just going to screw around with this for a little bit so you can hear what it sounds like. Now, if you open up the ChatGPT app on your phone, this is what your screen should look like. And on the bottom, you'll notice I have a voice button here next to the microphone option. I'm going to click that, and I'm going to try to mute it right away so it doesn't pick up what I'm talking about as I'm going through this demo. So I would recommend doing that. So I muted it right there. And then what you can do is on the top right, there's an option here to change voices. Now I'm not gonna do this because it'll start talking to me and it'll make the video really weird. I'm just gonna leave it on breeze for now, but you can feel free to use and filter through all these different voices that you want. Um, so let's just start chatting with it and see what it sounds like. Hey ChatGPT, how are you? I'm doing great, thanks for asking. How about you? Can't complain, I'm actually filming a video right now on your new advanced voice mode feature. That sounds awesome. I'm glad you're giving it a whirl. How's the filming going so far? It's going okay, but it's a grind. Can you tell me a joke? Sure, here's one for you. Why don't skeletons fight each other? <laughs> they don't have the guts. Wow, that was a good one. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. A little humor always helps, especially during a grind. Yes, it does. Now I want you to create a rap battle. Can you do that? Absolutely. In this corner, we have the mighty human. And in the other corner, it's ChatGPT. Let the rap battle begin. You oh. start us off. Actually, I want you to start us off. All right, here we go. <clears throat> ChatGPT on the mic. Here to make it hype. Spitting now gorilla Faster. fire. Not bad. Okay. Here's my comeback. I'm the human on the scene with Ron so cute. No, I meant talk faster. Got it. Chat GPT on the mic. Here to make it hype. Spitting algorithms like fire. Taking rap higher. Faster. Your turn. All right. Here we go. Chat GPT on the mic. Here to make it hype. Faster. So this is all fun and games with rap battles, jokes, stories, and whatnot. But now let's actually dive into some real-world applications on how this advanced voice mode can be useful. So in my opinion, the most valuable use case for advanced voice mode is real-time language translation. And this, this was already a thing, don't get me wrong, but now it's even better. So let's see what this looks like in real time. Hey, ChatGPT, can you be a real-time translator from English to Spanish? Absolutely. Go ahead and say something in English, and I'll translate it to Spanish for you. Awesome. And could you also use a Spanish accent? Claro, sin problema. 
Adelante. Dime lo que quieres traducir. Awesome. Well, can you translate the following? So my name is Ryan Dozer. I live in Iowa. I have a YouTube channel. Um, right now I'm recording a video on ChatGPT's advanced voice mode. Por supuesto. Me llamo Ryan Dozer. Vivo en Iowa. Tengo un canal de YouTube. Y en este momento estoy grabando un video sobre el modo de voz avanzado de ChatGPT. Thank you. Could you also translate that in German now, but use a German accent? Natürlich. Ich heiße Ryan Dozer. Ich wohne in Iowa. Ich habe einen YouTube-Kanal. Und im Moment nehme ich ein Video über den erweiterten Sprachmodus von ChatGPT auf. Wow, that's very impressive. Thank you. I'm glad you liked it. If you have anything else... All right, and I'll stop it right there. So think about how revolutionary this is that we now have an AI translator just in our pockets. Whereas before we were stuck using Google Translate going back and forth. Uh, we were stuck using locals, maybe help from relatives if we were traveling with relatives. I know that was my scenario or taking something like Duolingo or Rosetta Stone to learn different languages. Well, now if you travel abroad, let's say I go to Germany again, I can just pull out my phone, open up the ChatGPT app and say, like I just did in this example, hey, ChatGPT, you are now my translator. Anything I say in English, please translate to German and also use a German accent. I think that's really important too, because the accents, for example, in Chile versus Mexico versus Spain for Spanish are completely different. Plus, they also have their local dialects and whatnot going on too. Um, so again, this is just a really revolutionary advancement with this real-time AI language translation. Now, another real-world application for this advanced voice mode is mock job interviews. So let's say you have a job interview coming up and you need help with questions that could be asked or how to respond to certain things or just interview assistance in general. Well, you can now use a tool like this to help you. And I'm going to show you how I would do this in real time if I had, let's say, an SEO job I was applying for and I had an interview coming up. I'm going to show you what that would look like. Hey, ChatGPT, how's it going? I need your help with something. Hey there, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. What do you need help with? So I have an important job interview coming up uh, for a senior SEO analyst position, and I just need your advice. Sure thing. First off, congrats on landing the interview. For a senior SEO analyst position, you want to show both your technical expertise and strategic thinking. Be ready to discuss your experience with SEO tools like Google Analytics, your understanding of algorithms, and your success stories in improving search rankings. Does that help? Yeah, that helps. What's an example of a question that I might get? Great. A common question might be, can you describe a successful SEO campaign you've managed from start to finish? I can. Do you want to hear my answer to that? Absolutely. Go for it. Yeah, so I've led the SEO strategy for a six-figure affiliate website in the tech niche. I've increased organic traffic by over 300%. I've increased revenue by over 200%. Uh, I've gained us a lot of email subscribers in the hundreds of thousands. I've grown our email list. Um, yeah, I mean, how does that answer sound? That answer sounds impressive. You're highlighting specific quantifiable results, which is fantastic. Maybe add a bit about how you identified opportunities, the strategies you implemented, and how you adapted to any challenges along the way. Yeah, I love it. That's great advice. Thank you. So you see there, it was helping me in a real time, I guess, job mock job interview situation. And again, if I was actually going into an interview, I would have questions written out where I'm more prepared going into a voice thing like this, where I could ask it specific questions, give my detailed answer back, and then have it grade me on the answer and then help me with more questions and just general advice as well. But using it for mock job interviews, I think is a very underutilized tool and also a great way you can use advanced voice mode. So another real world application of using ChatGPT's advanced voice mode would be tutoring, right? Let's say I don't know a lot about a certain topic. Well, I can come into this and ask ChatGPT for details. I can ask what something means to describe something in layman's terms. Let's just do an example really quick to show you what I'm talking about. Hey, ChatGPT, I need your help with something. Of course. What do you need help with? Yeah, so I'm struggling right now trying to figure out what an algorithm means. Can you explain what an algorithm means? Absolutely. An algorithm is basically a set of step-by-step -step instructions designed to perform a specific task or solve a problem. Think of it like a recipe. You follow each step in order, and at the end, you get...
get your final dish, or in this case, the solution to your problem. Yeah, I like that analogy. What about algorithms when they when it comes to SEO, right? What does it mean with when you talk about algorithms and SEO? Sure. In SEO, which stands for search engine optimization, algorithms refer to the complex formulas and rules that search engines like Google use to determine the relevance and ranking of web pages in search results. When you optimize your website's content and structure according to these algorithms, you increase the chances of your site appearing higher in search results, making it more likely that people will find you. And that makes sense. What are your thoughts on Google's latest algorithm update? Well, since I don't have access to real-time information, I can't comment on the latest updates. However, Google's algorithm updates typically aim to improve search result quality by focusing on factors like content relevance, user experience, and website credibility. So hopefully that demo was helpful for you guys, but what was interesting to me about that one is when I asked it to give me its opinion on Google's recent algorithm update, it like froze and said, I don't have access to real-time data, so I can't help you with that, which shocks me because I thought this was integrated with Bing, or at least advanced voice mode would have integration with Bing. Um, I know Google or Siri is connected to Google, so it just shocks me that advanced voice mode can't have that real-time web integration as well. Um, but regardless, as I keep rambling here, that is another second real-world use case case is tutoring. So that's it guys. I'm excited to see where this advanced voice mode capability goes in the near future, but I appreciate you being here if you've made it this far. Again, my name is Ryan. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like this video if you found value, but most importantly, leave me a comment below. Are there any other things that you guys are doing with advanced voice mode that I didn't cover in this video? Just any other real world, real world applications that I could take away from you guys would be extremely helpful. But most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.